Wow, practice is really intense today. Yeah, the drills were crazy, but we nailed them. For sure, we really stepped up our communication big time. Bye, Marissa, see you tomorrow. Wait! AJ Coyle, what do you have for me today? The murder of an 18-year-old softball player in the school locker room. Lane, this isn't the first murder in the small town. We need to find more evidence. Then I'll look into it. Lacey, I have a case that I need you to look into. All right, you caught me at a great time. I just finished looking at those knives from that case in LA. Did you find anything useful? Yeah, the knife had been used to cut meat only hours before the murders, so the suspect most likely a local butcher. Good work. Why well, have another murder that was committed with the baseball bat? Do you have the bat? No, it wasn't left at the scene. Yep. <clears throat> How do you expect me to collect DNA without anything to look at? I'm not sure. I was just hoping there was something you could do. If you could get the bat, that would help. Oh, hey, Marissa. Hey, Mason. Hey, did you just get out of softball practice? Yeah, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm shopping for my friend's birthday. I think I might just get a candy bar from the gas station. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna head out. Bye, Marissa. Bye, Mason. Time. Get the team ready. Did you guys take a look at how brutal these crimes were? I noticed that. What about it? This obviously is not their first event. Good morning, sir. Can I see to the sheriff? I'm the sheriff. Okay, I'm here to ask you a few questions about the baseball case. There isn't much information about that case. All I know is that something similar happened about four years ago. Interesting. Did you ever find the perpetrator? We closed that case two years ago. It was nothing but dead ends. Okay, I'll contact my coworker. We'll have her look into the DNA database. Wait, what is a DNA database? A DNA database is a government database of DNA profiles and DNA samples which law enforcement agencies can use to identify the suspect of a crime. Oh, I'm surprised I never heard of that before. May I go look at the crime scene? Yes, of course. This can't be a one-time perpetrator. The scene shows that the killer was very violent. They knew what they were doing. Do you think they had a motive? Based on previous crimes, I believe they are just a serial killer. Dr. Bear, go get samples from the scene. Oh. <laughs> Run that logo right away. Our suspect is now narrowed down to the softball team. Dr. Bear, go to the lab and run the DNA through the database. Agent Coyle and I are going to go take a visit to the morgue. This place always creeps me out. Same, let's just try to get in and out. Agreed. The bat was swung at about 60 miles per hour. It also looks like he was hit from behind, which means he was snuck up on. Any bat swinging that fast precisely has to be someone with practice. So we figured it out. It's a softball player. That's what the evidence is pointing to.
process of extracting touch DNA for forensic analysis involves swabbing, taping, or scraping trace amounts of cell tissue, which I scraped from the handle of the baseball bat. Have you found the perpetrator? Was the DNA in the database? Yes. FBI, get on your knees! Hands where I can see them! You're under arrest for the murder of three teenagers. You either are my right to remain silent, anything you say will be used against you in the court of law. I'm glad that's over with. It'll never be over with. We'll probably have another case as soon as we get back. You're right. I'm so glad we have the DNA database. That makes it a lot easier to eliminate other suspects. Yeah, it has made the job easier. Not to mention it helps prevent other ones too. What do you mean? Most criminals are aware of the DNA database and they know how easy it is to catch them. That makes a lot of sense. I'm really glad we have that resource.